Hi, this is Munson with Munson Music. I'm going to talk about how you could play through a song called Talking to the Moon by Bruno Mars. And we ended up capoing this on 4th fret to kind of match the recording, but we're going to start on a C major chord. And when we play C major, first finger goes to the B on the 1st fret, 2nd finger on the D on the 2nd fret, and 3rd finger on the A string on the 3rd fret. And if you show them the A string to the high E string, that sounds a C major chord. It sounds really, really happy. And then from the C major, we're going to be going to an E major chord when we play E major. First finger goes to the G string on the 1st fret, 2nd finger on the A string on the 2nd fret, and 3rd finger on the D string on the 2nd fret. And if you strum all those together, that sounds an E major chord and it sounds really, really happy. And then from the E major, we're going to be going to an A minor chord when we play A minor. First finger goes to the B string on the 1st fret, 2nd finger on the D string on the 2nd fret, and 3rd finger on the G string on the 2nd fret. And if you strum all those together, that sounds an A minor chord and it sounds really, really happy. Really sad, really sad. And then from the A minor, we're going to be going to a G major chord. We play G major. First finger goes to the A string on the second fret. Second finger on the low E string on the third fret, and the third finger on the high E string on the third fret. And if you strum all those together, that sounds a G major chord, and it sounds really, really happy. And then from the G, we're going to be going to an F major chord. And we'll talk about a really easy way to play this. But if you know the bar F major, you do your first finger across the entire first fret. Second finger on the G string, second fret third finger on the A string on the third fret, and the pinky on the D string on the third fret. And if you strum all those together, that sounds an F major chord, and it sounds really, really happy. Now, a good substitute for that, though, is something called F major 7, the way you play F major 7. First finger goes to the B string on the first fret, second finger on the G string on the second fret, and third finger on the D string on the third fret. And if you strum the D string to the high E string, that sounds an F major chord, and it sounds really, really happy. And that's kind of our intro progression, but it's also kind of our verse progression. It's kind of that C, E major, A minor, G major, F major. But a lot of times with a song like this, to make it more interesting, I like adding something called a strum pattern. And one of my favorite strum patterns for a 4-4 like this is down, down, up, up, down, up. So we took the C and just tried that a lot. You'd have down, down, up, up, down, up. through our verse and our intro progression though is the A minor and the G don't last as long so one way to kind of work that is to do just a down down up on each of those chords when we get to them so we tried that through our verse progression we have C with a down down up up down up E down down up until we get to our pre-chorus part. Now on our pre-chorus we go to a D minor chord and when we play D minor, first finger goes to the high E on the first fret, second finger on the G string on the second fret, and the third or the fourth finger on the B string on the third fret. And if you strum the D string to the high E string, that sounds a D minor chord and it sounds really sad. And then from the D minor we're going to go into a G major chord, and then we go back to D minor, and there's almost kind of a stop on a G chord at the very end of our pre-chorus. We try to strum pattern through the pre chorus. We have D minor, down, up, up, down, up, G, down, down, up, up, down, D minor, down, down, up, up, down, up, big G. And then from there, then we'll be going into our chorus part. On our chorus, we start on F, and then we got a G, and then A minor, and then we kind of repeat that. F, G, A minor. And then from there, we go to F. G, and then we go to a C major chord, and we play C major, oh, we are talking about C major, and then we go to a G, but it's kind of weird, actually, it kind of sounds like there's an A in the bass on, the, on that G chord, and then we go to an A minor chord, and then a G chord, and then we go to an F major, and at the very end, there's kind of this G with kind of a down, 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 it's kind of a hit at the very end of the chorus. This chord's actually kind of half, so we could do the halfing with kind of a down, down up on each chord. And there's one big push actually at the very end where you may want to just do downs on, on kind of that C, G slash B, A minor, G at the very end. So we have F with a down, down, G, down, down, up, A minor, down, down, up, up, down, up, F, down, down, up, G, down, down, up, A minor, down.
the chorus, then we go into a chorus tag where we do an A minor chord, and then a G major chord, but then we go to a D major chord, and we play D major. First finger goes to the G string on the second fret, second finger goes to the high E on the second fret, and then the third finger goes to the B string on the third fret, and if you strum the D string to the high E string, that sounds a D major chord, it sounds really happy. And through that part, it almost sounds like just downs on each chord. A minor, G major, D major, from there then we'll be repeating a lot of our parts until we get to our bridge part and on our bridge we start on D minor and then we go to C and then we go to D minor and then we go to G and then we go back to D minor and then we go back to C and then we go to D minor and then we got another push on the G where you may want to do kind of that down 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 kind of idea so we tried our strum pattern through our bridge part we have D minor down up down to C down Those are all the parts to our song. Now the weird part is to play along with Bruno Mars, instead of starting on a C chord, it's actually starting on an E major chord. So to play along with the recording, what you want to do is take a capo, and if you put the capo on 4th fret, then now your C is really an E major, your E major is really a G sharp major, your A minor is really a C sharp minor, your G major is really a B major, and the F is, is really an A major chord. D minor is really an F sharp minor chord, and your D major is really an F sharp major chord. But to take it from the very, very beginning, we, we could work our intro with just our down, down, up, up, down, up, and we'd have C down, up, up, down, D e, down, down, up, up, down, A minor down, down, G down, down, up, F down, down, up, up, down, up. And then we'd be going into our verse part with that same progression. Now one other strum pattern I would think about adding to the song though is something called a 16th note strum pattern. And what I mean by that is if you're tapping your foot to the beat, right now we're kind of dividing that beat into two parts with our down, down, up, up, down, up. One, two, one, two, and that's called an eighth note. What a 16th note is is where you divide that beat into four parts. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. And one of my favorite 16th note strum patterns is long down, 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 up, up, down, down, up, down, up. And what I mean by that is on the C you do a down for four. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. And that's what you're doing on the first beat. Then on the second beat, you're doing a down on one, down on three, up on four. So you're going one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, down, down, up, down, down, up. And then on the third beat, you're doing an up on two, down on three. So you're going one, two, three, four, one, up, down, one, up. You're going down, up, down, up, right along with the one, two, three, four. So down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up. So all together, you got down, 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 up. part is where we got the A minor and the G, but you could do just the down, down, down up on each of those chords. So we'd have C, down, down, up. Down, down, up, up, down, up. And we have E minor, down, up, up, down, G, down, down, up, up, down, D minor, down, down, up, up, down, big G. Or we could try our 16th pattern. We'd have E minor, down, down, up, up, down, down, up, down, up, G, down, down, up, up, down, down, up, down, up, D minor, down, down, up, up, down, down, up, down, big G. And then from there, then we'd be going into our chorus part. We could do that with our down, down, up, up, down, up. We got F down, down, G down, down, A minor down, down, up, up, down, F down, down, G down, down, A minor down, down, up, up, down, F down, down, G down, down, up, C, G, A minor, G, F down, up, up, down, G down, 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 down. It's kind of that push. Or we 
guitar 16th note pattern, and a lot of those tapping chords, you can do the down, down up on those chords. And then actually, if you're a little bit adventurous, actually on that C push, you could do kind of a down, down up on each of those chords to kind of make that a really, really interesting part there. Um, so we tried our chorus that way. We'd have F, down, down, G, down, 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 A minor, down, down, up, up, down, down, up, down, up, F, down, down, up, G, down, down, up, A minor, down, down, up, up, down, down, up, down, up, F, down, down, up, G, down, down, C, G, A minor, G, F, down, down, up, up, down, down, up, down, G, down, 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 down. It's kind of that push. And then from there, then we'd be going into our chorus tag, and you could do that down on the A minor, down on the G, down on the D major, and then from there, then we'd be going back into our verse part. Now, one other thing I'd think about adding to the song is bass notes, and a lot of times on that first down of the down, down, up, up, down, up, or the down, 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 up, up, down, down, up, down, up, <laughs> you could add in a bass for the chord. So on the C, you'd have the A string for your bass, and then you could keep your down, up, up, down, up, bass, down, up, up, down, up. on the E, you'd have the low E string for your bass. On the A minor, you'd have the A string for your bass. On the G, you'd have the low E for your bass. On the F bar, you'd have the low E for your bass. On the F major 7, you'd have the D string for your bass. And then on the D minor chord, we'd have the D string for the bass. And if we were going to use a D uh, bass for the D major, we'd have the D string for that bass too. So we try that next verse with a bass down, up, up, down, up. We'd have C with an A bass, down, up, up, down, E with a low E bass, down, up. With an A bass down, G with low E bass down, up, F with a bass down, up, up, down, up. Or if you're kind of digging on the 16th pattern, you can add basses to that too. So you can have C with an A bass down, down, up, up, down, down, up, down, E with low E bass down, down, up, up, down, down, up, down, down, with an A bass down, down, G with low E bass down, down, up with a bass down, down, up, up, down, down, up, down, up. And then from there, then we'd be going into our pre chorus part. So we could do just bass down, up, up, down, up. We'd have D minor with D bass, down, up, up, down, G with low E bass, down, up, up, down, D minor with D bass, down, up, up, down, big G. Or we could try adding basses to our 16th pattern. And we'd have D minor, down, down, up, up, down, down, up, down, G with bass, down, down, up, up, down, down, up, down, D minor with D bass, down, down, up, up, down, down, up, down, big G. And then from there, then we'd be going into our chorus part. And a lot of that we could just add kind of that bass down a bit for the, for the halving part. The weird part is that C push. And if you wanted to on, on that, what you really want to try and do on that G chord is kind of bring out the A string on, 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 on the, uh, the on, on, for the bass on that chord. So when we get to the down part, you may want to try taking the G chord and kind of string just the A string to the high E string for that G. That's something called G slash B. It means a G chord but with a B in the bass. Um, so it's still a G chord, but uh, you may want to try and bring out that A string to kind of get that, that move of actually kind of that bass idea of kind of the C, B, A, G kind of into to the song. So if we tried it that way, we'd have F with a bass, down up G with a low E bass, down up A minor with an A bass, down up, up, down F with a bass, down G with a low E bass, down up A minor with an A bass, down up, up, up down F with a bass, down up G with a low E bass, down C, G slash G, A minor, G, F with a bass, down up, up, down G push. Or if we tried our 16th pattern on that, that C push, you could do kind of a bass down up through that part. This could be very cool to bring out that bass line. You have C with an A bass, down up, G slash B with an A bass, down up, A minor with an A bass, down up, G with a low E bass, down up, we get to that spot. So we tried it that way, we have F with a bass, down, down, G with a low E bass, down, down, up, A minor with an A bass, down, down, up, up, down, down, up, down, down, F with a bass, down, down, G with a low E bass, down, down, A minor with an A bass, down, down, up, up, down, down, up, down, F with a bass, down, down, G with a low E bass, down, down, C with an A bass, down, G slash B with an A bass, down, A minor with an A bass, G with a low E bass, down, 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 up, up, down, down, up, down, G push. And then from there, then we'd be going into our bridge part. We could do that with just our bass down, up, up, down, up. We'd have D minor with a D bass, down, up, up, down, C with an A bass, down, up, up, down, D minor with a D bass, down, up, up, down, G with a low E bass, down, up, up, down, D minor with a D bass, down, up. our 16th pattern and we have D minor with D bass down down up down down up down C with an A bass down down up down down up down D minor with D bass down down up down down up down G with low E bass down down up down down up down D minor with D bass down down up down down up down C with an A bass down down up down down up down D minor with D bass down down up down down up down G push and then from there then we'll be going into our 
last chorus. So we'll be back to the F, G, A minor. From there, then we'll be going into our last chorus tag. We're going to go to that A minor, G, D major. And then from there, then we go into our outro where we kind of have that C chord. And you may want to kind of do it like, like kind of a breaking up part of the C chord. Actually, that's called an arpeggio where you kind of take the C and kind of break it up doing the individual notes. And then the E major. And actually, that could even be a really cool idea to kind of apply to the whole song, actually. Especially if you kind of start on your bass note and kind of go other notes of the chord after that. So it can sound a little bit more like the piano that way. A minor G. But that's the basics of how you can strum through Talking to the Moon by Bruno Mars. So good luck!